Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. I've scooted out a bit and I'm really, really excited today because uh, I haven't really ordered anything. I only own one thing from this company right now. Well, besides a few brushes. Uh, but I had to order this new Wet n Wild Midnight Mermaid collection. Okay, y'all don't know me. I was such a big Little Mermaid fan. It, yeah, yeah, for a few years. It was the movie, the HS movie, <laughs> um, the dolls. I had a talking, singing doll. I had a purse. I had clothes. I never got to dress up as her for Halloween, but so this spoke to me and I did see a couple of reviews before I bought it and oh my gosh the day it launched it about crashed the site wet and wild site so it was crazy I kept trying like when it first went live and then kept trying again and again and again and it just kept kicking me out like you know I about got it I got it like in my cart like I got signed in signed up before it went live fine and then as soon as it went live, I got it added to my cart. But then I was trying to add something else because you it was $34.99. And you had to have $35 to get free shipping. And I had a coupon code as well for 10% off. Which because I signed up for emails that day, they sent it to me. Um, so I had to find something else. So I was trying to like look for something else to add to my cart after the 10%. So I could get the free shipping. That took forever. I kept getting kicked off or kept going slow. You know, it, it, it wasn't even going slow. It was crashing. And then finally, I want to say 7 o'clock that night or 8 o'clock that night, I got back on and I was allowed to complete my order. So I was so, so happy because it sold out like the next day. I think people got tired of it that day. They they went live again. They said, oh, we got all our issues, like, solved and all. So, it went live again, and it sold out, I think, that day. So, I'm super, super excited. That's why I'm, like, kind of zoomed out to, like, show you everything. Um, and I suppose I did pick up a new, this is the, one of the new colors of their Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. This is Botanic Dream. And I had picked it up because I thought it looked darker than what it is. It's very pretty pink. It's very pretty like ice cold pink. Uh, it's a very pretty flower. Like this watch a little. So, pink, pretty going on. Very ice cold pink. <laughs> we see how it looks on my skin tone. It might be like when I go paler in the winter. I thought it was a little darker. But anyway, let's try to open this thing up. Yes, I bought the whole collection because I was interested in the whole collection because everything except for one lipstick is vegan, so that means no carmine. Um, so I don't have to worry about anything because it does come it's all nicely wrapped. Some bubble wrap. Take that out. Oh, and this isn't plastic. The thing is like, um, it is plastic, but it's like cold coated in like, I don't know. <laughs> It almost feels like suede. It's funny. So here is that gorgeous collection. We've got the basic menu, the highlighting bar. These four are eyeshadows. No, yeah, eyeshadow toppers and eyeshadows. Uh, these four are lipsticks. The only one not vegan, I think, is this one. And then these three are eyeliners, and they're all vegan. Um, which makes me happy. I'm gonna pull out what's supposed to be the star because it's just so pretty. And what are they calling this? Midnight Moon. Let's see if I can get it open actually. I'm glad apparently Wet n Wild is trying to go everything vegan, and so when they do, and if they remake their old palettes, so that's when I'll be getting the comfort zone for real. And that's what that looks like. I love the little the mermaid tail. It's so cute. Let's get a finger. Oh, that's soft. It does have glitter in it. But it's very pretty. Let's watch it. Oh, no. that one's a good color. All right, I'm gonna grab a brush. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna apply it. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, it's showing up in it. It's pretty. What do y'all think? I think it's gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with the box, but I'm going to have to keep the box. Because it's so pretty. I don't necessarily want to keep everything in the box, but I'm going to keep the box. Okay, next thing I'm going to try out are some of these eyeshadows. And this one is calling my name. This looks like Stingray Chrome from a Pretty Woman that nail polish. Does it not? And like I already got eyeshadow on, but these apparently perform better with a base. Like you can do them by themselves, but like especially like a black base. But I got like gold shadow on my eye. Um, this one's Aquatic Prism, and yeah, it does have the V for Vegan. I don't know if I'll be able to give you all these like on the lid today, but. nice doe foot. Swatch that. Oh, they get pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna go ham. I'm gonna go all over my eyeball with this. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Oh, how pretty. I'm glittery. I heard one of you said don't open your eye all the way until this dries. Like let it dry. And it is going to crease on me as <laughs> I so look up. So I'm actually uh, I'm digging that color. I think it's very pretty. I don't know if it's shifting. I'm trying to like, it does kind of shift just a little bit, but it's very pretty. I think I'm going to try a different color on the other eye just because, hey, you know what? I still got to take out my trash today, but it's okay. <laughs> I want to try this purple one and Moonlight Majesty. And it's purple with like greenish gold shot through it. So. But y'all don't know. I'd be like, wait, are you coming? Are you coming today? Are you coming today? I ordered on the 14th. So, yeah. They say 7 to 10 days. They didn't ship over the weekend. I don't know. That was on during the week. Anyway. That's what it looks like. Go ahead and swatch this one. Okay, it, this one really shifts. Like, it totally shifts. You see, like, it goes to almost like a bronzy olive as it shifts. So, I'm with that. Cool. Let's see. And these can be used if you're good, like, paint, like a liner brush and use it as a liner if that is something you want to do. Big glitter queen today. <laughs> oh yeah, I okay, shifting at all like in the light. I'm pretty sure I look weird. Okay, we'll go. Okay, I'm gonna swatch the other colors. I'm gonna wear them. This is the really pretty like emerald green called Lara's necklace. I don't know who Lara is, but you know. She's like Ariel's sister. Now, who is it? Jeffree Star put these over a black base and they were like really intensified that way. And this one is a black with like a silver glitter and it is called oh my gosh, Mysterious Nights. Yeah. I 
and open everything. Yeah. Go over my knuckle. See, very pretty. All right. Next, we got some very pretty eyeliners. This one is a gray looking one. It says metallic liquid eyeliner, so it's probably silver. Um, it's called Trident Shimmer. I thought all these were vegan. Are they vegan? Yeah, they say they have a V on the bottom. All right. I think there, there's glitter in that little line them over there. Yes. There's shimmer going on in that one. I'm excited about these because they have this pretty metallic blue one because I don't know where they, they were over here. Um, yeah, I learned my lesson from my Loraca and Zip palette uh, look and I only had that eyeliner on for a couple hours before I took it off. Um, does NYX Vivid Bright Brights have carmine in them? So guess who had a reaction? That one just looks like a nice like cobalt. Yeah, I had a reaction. And then I looked, because of course I found away the packaging. And this is a pretty green called C Symmetry. Can you read that? Right there. Um pretty green. Oh that one's pretty. Um I'm just going to go in with this one. Um, so, yeah, I had no idea. And I figured out what caused my reaction yesterday. It's from uh, unboxing my BoxyCharm and using new mascara. Oh, I can see that. I like that. In there. Can y'all see how pretty that is? Oh, my gosh. Can you see the green? Oh. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put it on the lower line. And I love this. I, I'm thinking I might switch to these kind because I think with my little crinkly eyes they would be like smoother wings for me. Doesn't pick up a whole lot of product. It's like not the darkest thing by itself, but it's still pretty. I think on a paler skin person, it'd probably show up more. You can get a sharp little wing going. Crap. That's a little bit better. Waiting <laughs> for that is like not blinking in that crease. But it works. And I kind of want to try this blue one over on the purple side. But yeah, all of Clinique mascaras apparently contain carmine. And you wouldn't know that. You can't find the ingredients for their mascara or really anything else on Clinique's website or Sephora's. You gotta go to Ulta. Ulta has it. Every mascara from Clinique has Carmine in it. I looked up L'Oreal Lash Paradise. No, no Carmine. Better than sex. No Carmine. I'm pretty sure most mascaras don't have Carmine in them, but Clinique does. For, you know, whatever reason. I'm pretty sure my wings don't match. That one just went, whatever. It's okay. I just really wanted to test if we can. However, they do layer over that really well. And they clean up really easily. You can just clean them up with your fingers. So I'm cool with that.
different kind of pink to your eyelashes on the bottom. Right there. At least my eyelashes get caught in it. Alright. <laughs> Nobody outside needs to look that closely at it. But I'm liking it with her just fun. I don't have kind of like just, you know, fun. Fun, fun, fun shades. Okay, let's go with the lip stuff now. That's the last of this collection. I don't know how long we're running. How long are we running? Okay long for me. Anyway, this is called Coral Crown. It looks like a copper. Y'all no, didn't have good luck with one of theirs. I only bought one in that other coral shade, but that was like the matte, like bright coral. It's pretty on, pretty for far away, but it's so tricky. I'm like, maybe I just needed to layer it, like let it dry and layer, which I don't like doing. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Lazy factor. I think I'm gonna like move up a little if I can. I'm like catty cornered. Let's see if I can just a little. <laughs> don't don't mind the mess. I was just experimenting with colors and using them, but I'm so happy they're all like vegan. I'm so happy. I'm like living for each side. <laughs> I don't even know what side I prefer. I'm living for both. So let's try this one. I did exfoliate. And I love how it's all scales on the lid. Looks very brown. Or can we swatch this? We're just gonna swatch it right there. It does look, it's very like, it's a straight up copper. Can we see? There. Straight up copper. Jump cool with. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's like butter. Ah. Oh. It feels at least as creamy as lime crime, if not creamier, this metallic stuff. And does have that doe foot that hugs your lip, we're supposed to. I like that a lot. That is such a pretty fall color. It's metallic, but without being like overly metallic, like where you can't couldn't wear this day today. I could probably wear it to work. No one would notice that it's like metallic, but it's pretty and it catches the light, and it's so smooth on. Oh my gosh! And it's opaque, fully opaque. So I like this one a lot. So I guess it's just the color I chose before. All right. I didn't want to take you off. You're so pretty, and this one is vegan. But, but we're going to we're going to take you off. I don't have a problem, as far as I know, with lip colors not being vegan. I could. Uh, it could be like one of those prolonged ones. I don't wear them enough. Like if I was wearing it every day, I'd probably notice it more or get like little pimples around my mouth or something like that. So pretty. Why do I have to take you off? Well, that liner like smudged underneath my eyeball. That's more me than anything. It was just more me. I got it on my lashes. Okay, I'm going to try to dry my mouth <laughs> so we're like not eh. interfering with the application. And this one is the one that is not vegan. It's still cruelty free, but this one's gorgeous. This is the color Harbor, Harbor a Crush. Oh my gosh, ship's Harbor. Harbor a Crush. Harbor a Crush. Very, very pretty. Like a ruby magenta kind of color. Mmm. -hmm. But at least this plastic's freaking easy to open. What was it I was having the hardest time opening? Like in a recent unboxing. Like I can't. Those freaking hard candy ones. Oh my gosh. Yes, you could not get those open. Those hard candy uh, lip pencils. I'll link that over here. Oh, okay. Hold on. 
Is that up yet? That's not up yet. That'll be up after this. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's a Walmart haul. Um, but yeah. Same Huggy Doe Foot. So pretty. Okay, just go more burgundy. Like, magenta burgundy. Let's try to see that. So it's the darker one. Okay, let's go in. I like how metallic supplies. I wonder if they just apply better. me. <laughs> right. I think that's pretty much fully opaque. I might have should have dipped in a little bit more after I did that swatch uh, to get a little bit more, but it's not like streaky. No, it's not streaky. You just need a little bit more product. It's not streaky, and it's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Perfect Alabama color. I watch football. I love Alabama football. I am one of those screaming, psychotic people. These are super comfy. I like them more than the other formula. You know, this hasn't dried down yet, but I haven't let it dry down. I already prefer it to their matte one. These are so comfortable. Sometimes I just do my talk. Anyway, I think I was going to say something. I have something ordered from Ulta. Of course. So I'm so super excited to try and get from like one of my favorite lip lipstick brands pretty much. Actually they are. They're very far. I mean I like, I like a few others. But there's just not, there's just one that has my heart. <laughs> like, there's no reason. They just do. So, that's all off, hopefully. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm still, like, coming away with color. Let's see. Where are we at? Back there. Oh, okay. I'm trying to not make this too long. It's going to be long anyway, because I'm swatching all the colors. Let's go with green. I do not own a green lipstick. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing for Halloween. This might come in handy Halloween. Uh, I own purples. I have blue. I have a matte light blue, you know. I, have gr I think I have gray. Um, I don't have green. Green's one of those, you know, they always say, you should wear green. You have brown eyes, blah, blah, blah. I do every now and then. But green's never been like my favorite color. You know, like it looks good on my skin tone and stuff. I just don't wear it a lot. Well, any jewel tone looks good for my color. Any color, really. I'm not saying, I'm just saying that because I have a neutral undertone and I'm tan skin. So, pretty much any color. All right. Let's try this green. I didn't swatch it. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, what are you called? Oh, Siren's Jewel. That's a good name for it. I'm going to get back in just to make sure I've got the full amount of product after that swatch. Totally see vibes, man. Totally. You see that? Totally see vibes.
it's not streaky. I just think I need more product to build up the color in certain areas. So I don't think I clicked enough. I, but it's not streaky. Like, I'm not getting the streakiness of it. It's not streaky. I think it just could use just a little bit more. Like, one little, like, in the outer corners and the inner. I think I'm going to stop right here. It's a Siren's Jewel, which I am a fan of. Can you tell how green that is? I hope you can. All right. Very pretty. I don't know how often I'll be wearing it, but yeah. <laughs> I don't want, I go all out for Halloween. I got some funny looks at work. When I went to Dollar Tree, they had a headband with like a little witch's hat on it. I so rocked that the entire day at work. I did, and I wore purple lipstick, like a dark purple, which I don't wear. I don't tend to wear lipsticks at work. Just because I find it a pain in the tail when I'm drinking all day. You know, those I like have two cups of tea in the morning and like one and a half. I never finish both bottles of water in the afternoon. Oh my god! Okay, that one did not want to remove as cleanly as the other ones did. FYI, it's probably like the under pigment. It's okay, I'll just remove all my makeup around my mouth. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> Hopefully we're dry. And the last one. It's blue. I don't know why I like blues and purples. And then, and then berries and burgundies and reds. I don't know. I like most of the colors. Okay, this one's called Sea Seduction. And it is vegan. As was that green one. So they have the little V on the end now. Um, this is a metallic cobalt. It matches the box. Like, exactly. It matches the box. How pretty it is. Okay. I'm trying not to waste all that product that got on the end of it. So that's that color. So it's like, it'd be better on my lips than my hand. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I wasn't lazy, I dip back in and just get more product. <laughs> okay. And this is a uh, sea seduction, right? Yes. Pretty blue. It doesn't look as metallic as the other ones do. But it is giving me Ofra, that purple vineyard one that we got from Boxy Charm last winter. That, that, that's the kind of finish that this is giving me. Like more that. Like it's supposed to be metallic and it is, but it's not as looking metallic as the Lime Crime metallic ones are. Um, even the lighter shades in this collection. I mean, you still got that shine, but it's not like there, which is good because this is a hard color to pull off. But I so would pull this off, I think, because it's not as shiny. I could, and I pulled off that purple that's 
got the same finish from Ofra last winter a few times wearing my Naked Smoky palette, which I think is a fantastic look for the winter. <laughs> like, a big, like a bold, dark lip. Not uber black, but dark with the smoky lid. Yeah. Pull that off. Okay, I am really liking all of this right now. Okay, I'm gonna... I am not noticing creasing with that eyeshadow. Or, yeah, with the liquid eyeshadow. So, I guess I, like, kept my eyes, like, not... <laughs> I guess looking down and swatching, let them dry before, like, rolling back in my head and creasing. Um, so, they're good. It's just, you know, you got to, like, figure out what to do with the edges. Like, where I kind of just ended there, I'd have to figure out what I want to do with that end. If I want to go out with it, like go in the liner with it like when it's still wet could try to blend it in uh, or just go over top of it with a crease color um I'm feeling the liner okay I know they're not good wings they're not I was just trying to see how they would go because it is like a metallic liner but I, I love this color that color is pretty good too it's just I gotta work on it better and the application is because I got my eyelashes like all coated in it when I was trying to apply it um harder with liquid liner like with this hand on that hand I should have switched hands and see if I can have done better and that's why my wings are a little off but it's okay <laughs> I'm gonna take all this off in a minute oh do I have blue on my teeth uh, yeah okay it wipes away easily so it's okay <laughs> just be aware of that like before you go in somewhere if this is still drying to make sure it's not doing that but this is pretty And it's showing a little bit of my inner lip, but I think if I add a little bit more to it, it's fine. It's not like this. I, like with these, I'm not getting that streakiness I was getting with that that one coral, whatever it was, um, of their regular catsuit line. I'm not getting that because I think it's just, you know, the formula needs more than one swipe with this kind of thing. You can almost get it, but you don't have to dip back in if you wanna just like do it all at once. Um, but yeah, I'm liking this one. Look at that highlight. That's a pretty highlight. Okay, so I'm liking, loving this collection. Sorry, it's 33 minutes long. You didn't have to listen to, you don't have to listen to my rambling at the end. I'll put that in the description. You don't have to listen to my rambling at the end. But the swatches last about 30 minutes. Right. No, 29, something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching, liking, subscribe, to goals.